I would just want to appreciate you guys coming out. Uh, we have very high expectations for this 2019, 2020 year. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys uh, just uh, supporting us. So, it's done. Jordan, talk, talk about the expectation going into this season. Uh, you're coming off a good year for first team all OBC. First of all, what's your personal expectations and then what can this team get accomplished? Uh, my personal expectations right now is just to be a uh, just to be a leader. I'm um, trying to lead these guys and be a player led team and just have a voice and and be able to uh, show some of our young guys like our freshmen and some new guys just the ropes and playing division one basketball. So that's all it is right now. Just lead my example. Well I just told you guys are seniors, you know, that this has kind of been a building process since you got here as freshmen. Where do you think this team is from a competitive standpoint moving into this year? I believe we're light years from like our last few years, just because of experience and uh, through the the trouble we had in the last couple years, it really made us a uh, more of a stronger core coming from us too as a seniors. And uh, our expectation level now is very higher than in the last two years. There's a lot of talent that's gone from uh, Ja, Belmont, some some of your top teams last year lost quite a bit. How open is this year's OBC? Um I think it's I think it's very open, but you never know what the other teams have coming in. But our expectations are to be in that top three C. Um I think we have the talent to do it and the team to do it. So I think OBC is pretty much open for anybody but it's a matter of who wants to take it. What are you all most excited about for the season? Playing somebody different. <laughs> <laughs> we've been playing. We've been playing with each other since July, so it'd be good to get on the court against somebody else. But I know our bond is strong enough, and it's gonna be fun playing against uh, somebody else with my brothers here and my freshmen and uh, juniors that we got. So it's going to be a real fun year because we, we got so much trust with each other. We know uh, they got my back, I got their back, and it's going to be a, a good a good game, a good season. Juice, a lot of people really excited about you, uh, what you're going to bring to the team from the point guard position. Talk about how excited you are to go into this season and uh, the role that you want to play. Uh, I'm very excited. Sitting out a whole year, that's tough, especially being a competitor. They'll tell you, just talking to them all the time about it. So uh, I'm excited. I know they're excited, and we're just ready to kick it all off, starting Sunday. What did you learn in the year that you sat out? Uh, that was actually my first year actually having to sit out. Like, even when I got injured and things of that nature, I always played through that thing, those kind of things. So having to sit out and see it from a different view, taught me so much just seeing just being on the sideline you see different things that you see when you're on the court so Jamin you sense a different attitude with this team going into the season I mean you, you've been here long enough to know the difference between a team ready to win and a team hoping to win you sense this team's ready to go oh yeah definitely everybody everybody's ready it's that competitiveness like People love to compete, and they're not going to back down for nothing. Even when adversity does hit, they're not going to fold because that's what we've been preparing ourselves for. So when adversity hits, which it will hit, uh, we will be ready for it, and we will bounce back, and we'll prevail, and we'll win. We come on the other side. Cause we've been, I've been on that side where we've come up short, but I feel like this year we'll be able to get over that hump. James, let me ask you a question. I know that uh, you have a tough freshman year. Started out a little bit slow in last year, but your year got better and better as uh, things went along. You ended up starting a lot of games and everything before the year was over. What was kind of the thing that turned that switch on for you? Um, I had to have a talk with myself, kind of um, see where my head was at. And then I, uh, I remember last year after the first Murray State game, um, I talked to Jordan on the bus. And he just kind of picked me up. And then after that game, uh, I tried to 
just play my game, not worry about anything else, because everything will take care of itself when you play freely. Um, I talked to my parents a lot about it, and they just kept telling me to play my game. Like, you're there for a reason. Um, you shouldn't be, like, scared to do anything. Like, if you miss a shot, just get it back the next possession. So kind of just played with that next possession attitude and everything else took care of itself. James, like Chuck said, you made a huge jump from freshman to sophomore year. I mean, I, I think the OBC is on notice this year with James Baker. What do you think? Uh, I think so. If they're not, then they'll just have to see. Guys, uh, for just from top to bottom, I mean, the roster, uh, a lot of new faces, but a lot of talented guys. You know, how competitive is it right now? Uh, practice, getting ready for this season. And what's the difference, you know, that you guys that are returners have seen just the level talent? Uh, practice. <laughs> practice is very competitive. Like, we go at each other. Like, every drill, even we can, if we can be competing in a stretch, you can, it's just always a competitive mindset. Uh, this year, everyone is bought in to one goal, and that's just to win. And you got to play your role, and you buy into your role, and everything will take care of itself. If we all want to win, we got to take care of what we got to do. So that's our mindset right now.